So how long will you serve jail time for? Like, how long will you be in jail? I don't know. I mean, like, first of all, it's going to be really hard to find it because the thing is it won't be on the shelves anymore, you know? Like, you won't be able to go to a, a restaurant and find it or anything, you know? It's going to be replaced by vegan meat or lab-grown meat, uh, probably both of them. Uh, so there's that. But, yeah, like, if you try to go hunting or something uh, or somebody goes hunting and tries to, like, sell you or give you the f dead flesh of a murdered animal... Yeah, there'll be either, you know, like fines or jail time for animal cruelty, just like we already have right now for kicking or shooting dogs. So I haven't thought much about exactly like what penalties would sound good to me, but uh, definitely something to disincentivize people from murdering innocent little helpless animals, right? Yeah, totally. What do you think it should be? It really depends on, like, what animal you do, like, end up killing or, like, in the meat from, like, like a small animal to a big animal to, like, a very important animal. Hmm. Yeah, I can or see, like, 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 yeah, I, I, I would see different penalties for, like, killing an ant versus killing a deer. I don't think there's, <sighs> I don't think there's going to be, like, a big police force out there, you know, making sure nobody's, like intentionally stepping on bugs or nothing um generally speaking though be nice to bugs like if you don't need to kill them don't kill them you know catch and release get pick them up out of your house put them in the yard you know let them live right uh we all yes, we all I already do anyways nice nice yeah we all just got one shot on this planet so let's let everybody enjoy it as much as possible i just want everybody to be happy and have a good time that's all i don't think that's much to ask right no it's not Sweet. But man, people just kill bugs because they're either scared or more like something or whatever, but it's ridiculous how many people kill bugs over some... Yeah, exactly. A little fly or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. But yeah, like, you sound like a, a vegan. <laughs> so I think in like five or ten, in five or ten years, I think you're going to have a megaphone in your hand leading the march, you know, so that's really cool. So what I would recommend is uh, follow me on YouTube because I got a ton of animal rights videos of like crazy protests, right? You can see in my profile picture there, I'm covered in fake blood and got a megaphone in my hand. This stuff is really fun. Uh, it gets your adrenaline going, you know, pr protesting inside of grocery stores and restaurants uh, or running into slaughterhouses and restaurants rescuing animals and getting arrested and all that stuff it's a good time so follow me on youtube just click on my face there and then you'll see the link to my top 20 videos and uh so that might give you some education and inspiration uh, i'm going to post um one of my videos that has 800,000 views uh, and this is showing what happens to animals inside of farms and slaughterhouses so and it's got like 20,000 comments like all kinds of people commenting about how, you know, they didn't know it was this bad and, you know, animals don't deserve to be treated like this. I feel terrible for eating animals. I'm never doing it again. I'm going vegan. All this stuff. It's really cool. So, yeah, if you go to stage one text, you can see my video called Warning uh, and you can see the truth of how animals are treated in farms and slaughterhouses. So the thumbnail picture is a picture of a, a baby pig and their mother. If you're able to empathize with ants and, and other bugs, you know, I think it should be easy for you to empathize with pigs. You know, pigs are as smart as three-year-old children. They're smarter than dogs, and um, they're really cool and fun and cute. So, uh, in fact, I'll post another video of mine in Stage 1 text that shows ha it's called Happy Animals. So it's like the complete opposite of the other video I just posted, which is like a bunch of, uh, you know, cruelty to animals in slaughterhouses and stuff. Uh, which is really important though, like we need to, we need to watch that stuff and know how much they're suffering because it can motivate us to take action, right? And if it was happening to us, we would hope that people would watch the video evidence of our oppression and our suffering and, you know, seek to rescue us. Uh, but here's a cool video called Happy Animals that I made of animals who have been rescued from slaughterhouse and are now in animal sanctuaries. And so there's these like cows and pigs and chickens and lambs. Uh, who are like, you know, just frolicking in a field or playing with a ball or getting petted and, you know, just super cute stuff. So uh, that's my like 
only family friendly video on YouTube, Happy Animals. But it's super cute and it's got like a, a nice soundtrack that goes with it. So that's a good way to like realize like these animals are just like children, you know, like they're gentle and harmless and vulnerable and they're just like they enjoy basic stuff just like a toddler, you know, and and we put them in cages and then slit their throats. Yeah, I'll definitely check those two videos that you posted. That sounds like something I should probably check out. Right on, man. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. And then, uh, yeah, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and but yeah, it was nice talking to you. I'm going to move through and get to some other people, all right? All right, sounds good. Okay, cool. And also, you can get the Veg Curious role. I don't know if a moderator is listening, uh, but you can ping a moderator in the text channels and ask them for the Veg Curious role. Uh, and that will just open up more channels in this server to give you access to like the Help Me Go Vegan chat, where you can, you know, ask for recipes and, and somebody will give you recipes or like tell you where you can shop or uh, what documentaries to watch, stuff like that. You know, answer any questions you have. It's all free, but yeah, that's the Help Me Go Vegan vegan chat so just get the veg curious role and anybody can do that all right all right cool we'll talk to you soon yep what a cool person uh, do you think uh, that human did not need animals to, to survive Right now, no. Most humans across the world do not need to eat animal products in order to be healthy and live a nice, long, happy life with good, delicious food. There may have been times in the past... When you say no, do you... Yeah, let me just clarify. When you say let me, let me just, no, yeah, I'll clarify. No. You have a number. I don't have an exact number of the human population, but it would just basically be anybody who has access to plant foods can be vegan, right? So... Uh, yeah, uh, unless we're talking about like the exceptions might be like small tribes who live in the forest or, uh, you know, maybe some super impoverished people in some third world, like developing nation or something. But a lot of them, even like the cheapest foods are vegan, like rice and beans and potatoes and vegetables. Right. So, uh, and bread. Right. So like, um, so even if you can't afford like the vegan burgers, because the vegan burgers right now might be like a dollar more expensive, you know, but uh, that price will go down as more people start buying those products, right? So. Mm -hmm. So you said if they have a vegan alternative, they should go to it. Yeah, and like even if they you don't, you know that more than. You know that you need a lot more than rice and beans. Yeah, rice. yeah, yeah. So Not look, look yeah, beans. no, 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 no. Hold on, look. So I feel like that's a mischaracterization of what I just said. Like we have rice, pasta, fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, beans, bread. Right? There are like eighty thousand edible plants in the world. Okay. So you can get all the vitamins and nutrients you need on a plant-based diet. Doctors recommend that you take a daily multivitamin, rather whether you're vegan or not. If we should all be taking a daily multivitamin to make sure we're getting enough B12, uh, vitamin D, etc. To you know, so. But aside from that, yeah, it can happen. So if you have access to a multivitamin and plant foods, then you should go vegan. In fact, you must go vegan. Actually, oh sorry, I got distracted for a moment. One so, second. Sure. Um, just because there are lots of. Plants have been eaten, that doesn't mean they are, they are accessible to people. Sure. Like, for an well, example, let's, let's take me as an example. Mm -hmm. So, I live in Palestine. So, to make it clear, like burgers and burma and these things, I came up very recently, in like in a pattern. A new thing, and even the meat we buy, we buy from Israel. We get it from there. So it, we, do, I, yeah, this is uh, hard for me to admit. I do not believe that the meat we eat is actually halal or 
uh, or even somewhat close to that. No, it, I don't think that it is treated Jew, but uh, how do I say this? Like from my family, from my mother's side, they basically survived on animals. So in the past 20 years, like we, how do I say this? Well, we live in third world, world country, and it's not like you say, uh, like the ind industrialization of animals. Yeah, well, factory, factory farming are a new thing. Yeah, and even when we end, and when it comes to the expensive meat like beef, maybe what once every year, once every three months, so it's not really a luxury, yeah. Okay. It's not really uh, something common, okay. like in the US or Europe, you can't see how many burgers, so many burgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Know you. Yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. I'm sorry that you're in a hard situation. I'm a human rights activist also, and uh, you know I fight against capitalism and inequality and poverty. You know I, I think everybody should be treated equally and have everything they need for free, right? So I'm a communist, yeah. So I hope your situation gets better. I hope that you know I can somehow m help make the situation better for the global poor. Uh, but so if you, like I said though, if you're not able to be vegan, that's not, we're, we're not trying to make you feel like a bad person because you're in a difficult situation. We're aiming at people who can go vegan. If they can go vegan, they should go vegan, they must go vegan. Uh, if they don't go vegan, we will force them to essentially go vegan, to eat only plants, right? So, and, and as we do that, that will have an effect on international trade and will make uh, vegan eating easier in other parts of the world, right? Uh, so we're just gonna be replacing one product with another, right? And still all the nutrients and flavors you need. Uh, so that will eventually happen. But I would just, you know, wanna make sure, like, can you actually not just eat a vegan diet? Can't, like, is it possible for you in your situation, to only eat plants. Mm, I think it would be very, very, very difficult. Like, well, why would it be um, difficult? Like a lot of people say that, and I used to say that. Mm -hmm. I used to like just to be clear. I used to when I was a meat eater because I ate animals for twenty six years, and I used to be really scared of going vegan. Uh, I used to think it would be super hard, and I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, I literally said, "That's cool that you're vegan. I want to be vegan, but I don't think I could do it. I just love meat too much." So I'm trying to find out what your reasons are for thinking that you can't do it. Is it just your willpower? Uh, or is it access to food? Do you not have access to so food? I'm, so I'm not really saying I'm not really saying that I want to go vegan. I know. I said that. I know, but what if I meant you, is that right. it was a necessity. But if you so wanted, no, I'm asking if you so wanted to go vegan. Uh, if you wanted to go vegan, could you go vegan? Because the point I'm trying to get at is that if you can go vegan, you got to go vegan, dude. But if you can't, it, I understand. Now, if you mean if I could go vegan, I I never looked into it. Uh, and I really don't really want to be vegan. I understand. For, for my, if I try to justify it uh, from my point of view as a Muslim, uh, but, you, but you don't believe in Islam. Like you see, like I've seen your video, video when you visit the uh, Halal Spot uh, Butchery or something like that. So I got disgusted by it. I'm posting a video from YouTube uh, about a vegan Muslim. You can be a vegan Muslim, you can be a vegan Christian, you can be a vegan atheist. None of these religions force you to eat animals. And, uh, you know, if God wanted us to eat animals, why did he make them with the ability to feel pain and the desire to stay alive? 
It just doesn't make any sense to me. Why wouldn't he just make them like plants where they don't have a brain or a nervous system? Uh, so it wouldn't matter if we cut them. Yeah, religion is not a justification to oppress humans or animals. Mm -hmm.